Hello friends, I am back at it again today with another Misfits Market Produce Haul because you seem to enjoy. So feel free to give that a thumbs up as you continue to watch. By the way, my audio does cut out about halfway through because um, I use rechargeable batteries and I apparently did not put them in the charger correctly. That's entirely my fault. So hope you enjoy and let's get to it. Okay, so opening it up, once again, we have the, look at all the things that you could buy, including sugar pumpkins for pumpkin pies. Yeah, we're not actually going to buy sugar pumpkins because it's, it's too much work for me personally. I did already take the ice pack out. The ice pack was kind of here. I feel like it might have had a little bit of damage to this squash though. This is a summer squash and I kind of find that interesting just because I think it's really, really late in the year for summer squash. Um, it could just be the last. But as you can see, that looks a little odd, possibly cold damage, possibly bruised. It doesn't feel weird when I push on it. So hopefully that's just an aesthetic thing. It looks like our summer squash has a little summer squash buddy. Significant and Other and I were joking about how we have just so much lettuce and salad stuff and looks like we have even more. I don't know the name for this particular lettuce thing. The last one that they sent us had a little slug living inside of it. Uh, so far this appears to be slug free, but so did the last one another celery. Celery isn't a bad thing for us. It is starting to be the soup season time of year. So this will probably be some good veggie soup. It doesn't look like it's damaged at all. I think the last celery that we got was a little bit bruised or some little tea flakiness on it. Uh, this actually seems like a pretty good celery. What do we have here? Okay, so Roma tomatoes. It looks like we're probably gonna be having more salad with the tomatoes and the lettuce. Maybe even tacos. Three lemons? I mean, when life gives you lemons, you leave them at your friend's house for them to make lemon ritas with. I think whenever they send us lemons, we make a uh, lemon ginger lemonade. Can you hear me now? Okay. It looked like my audio cut off when I was in the middle of talking about my little bell pepper friends uh, saying that this guy probably want to be used pretty soon. Uh, maybe on pizza, maybe in pasta. I think that I can definitely convince significant other and the child to have pizza sometime soon. It is their favorite thing to eat. Uh, this guy seems pretty unfazed. Definitely the better quality. I can see why supermarkets wouldn't necessarily want him. One apple, two apple, Three apple, okay, what kind? Oh, they're gala apples. They're little bitty gala apples. They seem to be in pretty good condition. Uh, this guy has a little bit of a bruise, a little bruise on a little apple, so that's not too bad. Uh, other than that, seems pretty good. Honestly, I haven't had kiwis in a while. They're pretty firm, so I don't know if these are underripe kiwis or appropriately ripe kiwis. I personally am at least not currently in the mood for kiwis, but actually they might be good in the lemon pie with the lemons, so. Let's see if we can make something with that. If you wanna see me try, let me know down in the comments. Onions, because we are big fans of onions and soup season, I'm trying to convince the significant other to let me try to make some French onion soup. So maybe this will be good for that. Two delicata squashes this time. Uh, these are a weird color. It's kind of orangey brown. I'm, I'm used to delicata squashes being like a bright yellow. Maybe turned into a mash, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but we like them. Uh, they're pretty sweet squash, so I can convince the child to eat the sweet squash that is a delicata. Definitely not upset about this one. We have another jicama. Last time we roasted it with like just a little bit of salt, pepper, oil. And it wasn't bad. Probably gonna look up some more recipes this time though because I mean, I wasn't too impressed with it last time. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't like overwhelmingly amazing. Oh, got a little bruisey squish mark here. Yeah, well, it's uh, not like we weren't gonna take the skin off anyways. He's got a head start on us. <laughs> and one, two, three russet potatoes. Since this is the last one, I'm going to face the camera back up on me. Hello, we're fully in box now that we are on the three potatoes. Um, 
Unfortunately, they are russet potatoes. I, I hate russet potatoes so much. I don't understand why they are such a popular potato. I'm okay with like Yukon gold potatoes or red potatoes, but to me, russet potatoes just have these strange texture around the skin is weird tasting. I, I think it's so weird to say this is probably my least favorite variety of potatoes, but out of all the potatoes that I've tried, which granted are not much, Russet has probably got to be the lowest on the list. I recently saw, I think, Chef John's Potatoes Fondant. I might try to veganize that because he specifically does recommend russet potatoes. It's just... Also, we still really don't know what to do with the inside of this box. I, I don't think it's recyclable. It doesn't specifically say it's recyclable. It wouldn't make sense for it to be recyclable. I might ask Significant Other if we're going to actually continue our subscription. Kind of fun to get the mystery unboxing and with something that's useful like vegetables. Again, it's all organic and definitely appreciate effort to not put as much pesticides and be killing ingredients into the atmosphere. But yeah, because we are very pro bee. But then again, organic has other problems like the farms that use manure as fertilizer, contributing to E. coli outbreaks, blah, 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 runoff, and just the fact that they can't keep up with commercial demand like conventional farms do. I think the last study that I read comparing conventional to organic produce was comparing strawberries, conventional and organic strawberries. And it wasn't necessarily that the strawberries that were organic were more nutritionally dense. They had a wider variety of vitamins, the vitamins and minerals that the conventional strawberries had. The amounts were just through the roof, but it wasn't as varied as in the organic ones. And once again, that was a study very specifically with strawberries with a very, very small amount. And I think that was like five, 10 years ago that I might've read that, read that study. So it's pretty outdated as far as scientific studies go. So feel free to have that discourse along with any questions, comments, or concerns down below. I personally am a super nerd and would love to hear your thoughts. New videos should come out on Tuesdays or Fridays or both. Like always, stay happy, stay healthy. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.